all know how obsessed society is with telling women how much they prefer them not to wear makeup. There's this one podcast called the Whatever Podcast and the host of the show reminds me of literally every single other guy ever. He will bring women on the show and then give them like a makeup wipe and have them take their makeup off and then tell the women that they're catfishing men and that they're just they're wearing too much makeup on their face. Again, I'm a natural body supremacist and I do prefer women who wear minimal or no makeup when it's uh, coming off on, on makeup wipes and you've That's changed the color of the, the makeup wipe. If you're laying on my black pillow and your face is imprinted on the pillow after having laid down in it, or you've smudged a bunch on my, on my face if we're being, uh, you know, kissing, whatever, then it's, uh, I'm not a fan of it. And like I said, this is how a lot of men and some women operate and how they view people who wear makeup. I'd say a couple years ago, having like a full face of makeup was like the ultimate standard for women to have. The lashes, the brows, contouring your nose into oblivion. But now everyone wants to see real women's faces without all the makeup that hides who they really are. So having the bare face natural beauty look is the ultimate standard to have now. But the funny thing is when men say that they want natural beauty, they don't mean this type of natural beauty. They mean this type of natural beauty. This is the type of natural beauty that society wants us to have and expect us to have. They want that glow, that sparkle, that even out skin tone. In 2024, natural beauty is having a nose job, having lip filler, having a brow lift. If everyone is getting all these cosmetic procedures, then that becomes the base of what all women look like. Therefore, that's what we perceive as normal and authentic. And now to all the other girls that don't have buckle fat removal or Botox in their neck, they now feel like they don't meet the standards of natural beauty, even though literally natural beauty means natural. And how do you think that makes them feel? This is wild. A perfect example of this would be the iconic Kylie Jenner. It's obvious that girl has had a BBL because for one, after she turned of age, so she was already well past the point of puberty, her body looked like this. Then all of a sudden she had a body like this. And two, she has literally the exact same body as her friend Anastasia. Yet before she didn't look like that and neither did Anastasia either. Yet she claims that she's only gotten fillers oh and a boob job one of the biggest misconceptions about me is that i was like this insecure child and i got so much surgery to change my whole face which is false i've only gotten fillers so to all the people that do believe that her body is 100 percent natural they think that that's what actual bodies look like and of course so now it's a domino effect everyone who doesn't have that body more likely to be insecure and feel insecure and now the beauty standards are set even higher because of people like her. Emily Ratajkowski. Apparently she's gotten absolutely nothing done so by definition she's a natural beauty. So many people were commenting like dude like we know you've gotten your lips done and every time she denied it. Like all I'm asking is for people to keep it real that's all. It's simple. Like what is the harm of saying like oh I got a nose job. I just and I've made this point before but to the people who have gotten you know cosmetic surgeries and have come forward and admitted it you're always gonna have haters so of course some people will be against it and mad but then they just get over it and guess what those people that have gotten those cosmetic surgeries they move on with their life and they're still thriving and still as successful and rich as ever because all you're doing by not admitting that you've gotten work done is harming other people so now emily is the definition of a natural beauty this is what people think of when it comes to natural beauty it's insane ashley simpson made a huge deal about loving bodies as they are she claimed that everyone is made differently and that that's what makes us beautiful and unique. I want girls to look in the mirror and feel confident. And almost at the exact same time that she did that interview and said all those things, Ashley was spotted with what looked like a very different shaped nose. And her dad eventually admitted, oh yes, yeah, she's gotten a nose job. This girl had the audacity to say that we're beautiful the way that we are. You don't have to change anything. Plastic surgery is like not a good thing to do. She was like this big advocate of natural beauty. And of course, so like that's how people saw her. It's 
it, this is just wild. Tyra Banks is the exact same way. She spent years condemning surgery. She even hired a doctor to give her a sonogram on her TV show to prove that she was all natural and didn't have any plastic surgery. But in 2018, she finally admitted that she got a nose job in the 90s. So before that to everyone, she was of course another natural beauty. She was this gorgeous model that everyone looked up to because she really did look like a natural beauty. And to have a black model among this mainly white dominated industry, that being the modeling industry was very like refreshing and a very nice thing to see. But she too, just like all these other celebrities is a liar. All these people in the public eye that claim they love their fans, claim they do everything for them, say all these things about how surgery is wrong and love yourself the way that you are. And then the first thing that they do is, you know, change their lips and their eyebrows and whatnot. I'm just, I'm sick of it. These people are why the beauty standards are what they are. So many young men and women think that that's how real bodies should look. And my thing is like, how stupid do you think that we are? We see the before and after pictures. You're not fooling anyone. People think the only standard for being a natural beauty is to have no makeup and that's it. That makes you a natural beauty. But in 2024, that simply just isn't enough and it isn't true anymore. Chrissy Teigen is another woman that looks breathtaking without makeup on, but she's gotten a boob job, book of fat removal, fillers, Botox. She's gotten tons of work done. Now in this day and age if you're a natural beauty that just means that you've gotten a ton of like cosmetic work done that's the new definition i think it's so crazy that men say they want a natural beauty because i know for a damn fact that that is just not true there is this viral post that this dude made i think on twitter or x or whatever it's called and it's hilarious because he said that he wants a natural girl like this he wants a natural bare faced beautiful woman it's hilarious because this girl's face is completely beat to the brim with makeup. That girl has foundation, highlighter, concealer, lashes, bronzer. She has a full face of makeup on. This is a man's definition of natural beauty. Do you see what I'm talking about now? It's like, first of all, men don't even know what they want. Second of all, this is the new standard of like natural beauty, a full face of makeup on. It's insane to me. And also another reason why I think that men don't want natural beauty is, okay, you want a girl that's completely natural. So you want a girl that doesn't shave. So she has leg hair, armpit hair. You, you I mean, you said natural, so that's natural no shaving right that's what you want i didn't think so men don't want that they think that women who don't shave are disgusting and it's unhygienic even though i okay <laughs> I have so much to say about this. I made a whole video, I think, about this. I get so annoyed with the whole point that like women who don't shave, like it's unhygienic. And with men, they can walk around having armpit hair and leg hair and it's not unhygienic. But then if a woman has armpit hair, then it's unhygienic. It doesn't make any sense. If anything, I think that men actually sweat more. So it would be more unhygienic for a man. But no, they're just making up an, ex an excuse so women can shave. It's very sad and we can't even be ourselves. People People say that they want natural beauty but we are anything but natural women as a whole do all these things that aren't natural we shave we do this we do that we upkeep with this we do our hair a certain way we and it's like the world has the audacity to say that they want natural beauty we give it to them and then what we have that is natural isn't good enough and it's disgusting it's just this whole mind-boggling thing that is just insane to me and that we've all fallen victim to but it's like we have no choice because it's like who wants to be an outcast who wants to be told that they're disgusting and ugly so we do everything that society wants us to do because we don't really have a choice so real beauty for a man is a spray tan lash extensions bbls procedures nowadays have become so subtle and flawless that people think others just came out the womb looking like that men want natural looking beauty like Daisy Keach. Compared to other girls, Daisy wears little to no makeup but is simply drop dead gorgeous. But let me ask you girls a question. Does your body look like that? Because I know sure as hell mine doesn't. Like the average person, the average woman does not look like Daisy Keach. Daisy Keach has had work done like lip fillers and her breast augmentation. And I'm not against plastic surgery. I think it can be very beneficial for a lot of people but Daisy is regarded as a natural beauty even though she has had tons of cosmetic procedures done. Just another example of the new version of a 
than natural beauty. Natural beauty is pimples, stretch marks, eczema, things that make you human. It's so sad that what's considered natural and organic beauty is a nose job and lip filler. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up, um, comment down below, and I will see you guys next week for my next video. Bye guys! Thank you.